Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for June 2020. This is for June, okay? This is for Scorpio. So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June. Keep in mind, this is being recorded way before June, so this is a prediction for June 2020. And no, this is not old energy. This is to come. We will get people that want to deny what's to come. Sometimes we repeat our lessons because we didn't learn them in the past. So let's see what we got. What do we have for Scorpio for June? Ooh! Sometimes we repeat our lessons. Don't we? Because we didn't learn them yet. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Now, we'll also get some people that say, I don't want somebody from my past. Somebody from your past could be somebody you never slept with. This could be somebody that you knew when you were a child. This could be somebody from a past life. And that's what I think it is. I feel like this is a past life connection that is coming into existence for you. And you may not have met this person in this lifetime yet. You may be an, uh, be an acquaintance of this person. You may know them, but you don't know a lot about them. But when you meet them, you'll know. You know what I'm saying? Someone from your past is returning to your life, Scorpio. Doesn't mean you slept with this person. Usually when a past life partner enters our life, it's because we have a lesson to learn from them. So you may be repeating and trying to get it right this time. In this lifetime. So what do we have for Scorpio for the month of June? Nine of Swords. Whew! So Nine of Swords, this is... Uh, Depressed, overwhelmed, being haunted. Ooh, look at that. You may be feeling like you're being ha having a hard time sleeping. You may be having some nightmares. You may be feeling overwhelmed. You may feel like everybody's on top of you, like this is too much. It feels as though uh, you're tired, right? You're tired. You're in a spot where you probably are ready to be rescued. You know, you're ready to be loved. You're ready to be taken care of. You're wishing for it. You may be wishing for, you know, a little bit of uh, tender love and care or something like that. I feel like you've been in a stressful place, okay? You may have been, maybe you've been feeling really overwhelmed. You've been feeling really down and depressed and alone, um, wondering if, if things are ever going to get better. Ten of Cups reverse, wondering about a relationship, right? Wondering if you're ever going to have happily ever after. Um, maybe you're thinking about the past, right? You're thinking about something that didn't work out. You're thinking about a past relationship and maybe it's brought you down. You're depressed that something didn't work out. Um, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Now, maybe you were holding on to something that was unrealistic, Something that was, uh, it was a dead end, maybe. It wasn't um, somebody that you were meant to be with for a long period of time. Maybe you were just meant to be with this person for a season because there's something better coming. Um, I feel like for some of you, um, you were probably stressed out or depressed over something that didn't grow. A relationship that didn't grow. It didn't grow, you know. It didn't, it just didn't have, the, it didn't come to fruition. Something didn't happen. But, but now it's time. It's time for a delivery, as you can see. It's time. It's time. 
your wish is about to be granted maybe because here you've been dreaming you've been having a lot of negative thoughts probably worried about a relationship worried if you're ever going to be happy worried when it's going to be your time wor worried wondering when you know you're going to be blessed what when is it going to be my time you are about to receive a blessing Okay, Scorpio, you're about to receive a blessing. You may be dealing with an empress because whenever I see a pregnant woman on a card, uh, it reminds me of the empress. If you are the female, then you are probably taking on this energy. If you are the male, you may be dealing with this person. This person may be coming into your life. This person could be, you know, the empress usually represents Taurus or Libra, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this could be anybody who is very abundant. This person is beautiful, very nurturing, very tender, very loving, very caring will take very, very, very good care of you. If you are the masculine watching this, you're dealing with a feminine who is everything that you ever asked for. This person is coming. This person is going to take very good care of you. If you are the feminine watching this, this is you, okay? You are taking on this energy of being somebody's dream come true. Somebody is going to seize you as everything that they want, okay? They see you as beautiful. They think that you are glowing. They maybe want you to be the mother of their children or they see you as um, just a beautiful individual. individual. It's like you are what they want. So you are definitely exactly what they want. Tower reversed. Um, I feel like there's been something that, there's something that can be fixed. Okay, this person can help to fix fix you. You know, you're broken. You've been broken down. They can help to fix you. You know, isn't there a song? It's by the Fray. I'm not sure if it is. Who is that song by? Fix You. Let me fix you. I don't know who it's by. Anyhow, um, it's like this person can help to build you back up. They can help. They're going to help to build you back up. And you may be able to help them. Okay, vice versa. I mean, this is you and, and them, you know, whatever. I feel like there's an opportunity to um, build up, build a strong foundation. You may have been down. You may have been broken. But this can, you know, maybe if it is somebody, obviously it's somebody from the past that you have known before. Even if it's in a f past life, things may have crumbled or things uh, uh, crashed. They cr But now, now it's time. Now it's time. It's time for... Um, a rebirth, per se. Knight of Pentacles. Yes, there's been a delay. And you may have been stressed, wondering when this is ever going to happen. There has been a delay. But I feel like something real, something real, something practical, something very genuine is coming. I feel like it's something that you've been praying for, even if you've been praying for it subconsciously. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is something, somebody that has a plan. Somebody that is stable. This is a hard worker. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person is hardworking. They're very goal-oriented, um, very skilled, very predictable. They're uh, building up their financial security right now, whoever this person is that's coming in. They don't move very fast. They move slow, but they they have the capability to help you rebuild yourself, to help you... Uh, get up from wherever you've been. They're going to help to pick you up, put it that way, whoever this person is. I think it's an earth sign. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like it is. Um, the hermit, reverse. Now it's time to reconnect. It's time to come out of isolation. So you will be coming out of isolation in June. Okay, it's time to reconnect with the world. You're, you're, it's time. It's definitely time. It's time for a delivery. You, you've done your work. You've, you've went through that process. Okay, it's time. It's time to reconnect. Time to come out of isolation um, and socialize. So you will be socializing with somebody that is um, very into you, and you're gonna feel this connection. You are definitely going to feel it. I still feel like it's an Earth sign. Six of Cups. Six of Cups reversed doesn't matter. It is definitely somebody from your past, somebody that you have known before. I feel like the relationship crumbled. I, it crumbled because somebody um, didn't own up to their obligation. They may have left. They weren't thinking. Um, uh, 
there's definitely some unfinished business with the past. Six of Cups reversed. That's clinging to the past, memories of the past. Um, I feel like in the in the past, this person may have wanted to be alone or you wanted to be alone or they were clinging to somebody from there. They had some unfinished business with their past or you did or vice versa. The Whoever you were dealing with um, wasn't ready. They weren't ready for a commitment or they weren't ready for children or they weren't ready for something. Well, maybe they weren't ready for children. Judgment. Judgment. So, this is a reconciliation. You are absolutely going to have a reconciliation with somebody that you have known before. This person is, is going to be, you know, this is about um, karma. They had some past life karma. This is a card of karma that they had to deal with before you could come together. And maybe you did too. But there is going to be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. I think it is somebody from a past life. I have to reiterate that because I know a lot of you people and I know this in my gut. Okay? I'm a... I'm a, I'm a a gut speaker, okay? You can call me that. I'm represented by the Hierophant, which I am a Taurus, okay? I go by my intuition. My gut tells me this is not who you think it is. Okay? This is not who you think it is. This is somebody else. And I think this is a past life connection with somebody that you know of. You know of this person. You are going to meet this person out and about when you're out socializing. You could be at the store. You could be... Um, at the beach, you could be at the water, you could be, um, you're somewhere, you could be at a courthouse, you could be, where could you be, um, traveling, um, could even be at an airport, I don't know, where is this person, where are you going to meet this person, you're going to meet up with this person, when you are outside, okay, it's like you're outside, you're not at home, obviously, you're out socializing, and you're going to meet this person, you're going to feel instant familiarity with this person if you are in a coupled relationship and you're watching this reading I, I don't understand um you may be for some of you if you're in a coupled relationship you may be uh you know the ten of cups is here the ten of cups is a separation it is a separation there could be somebody new that is entering that i mean i just have to be honest with you the Ten of Cups, we have with the next to the Nine of Swords, we have somebody here that is, is suffering. They're depressed. They're sad. They're having a hard time. They're struggling. They're struggling in a relationship. So we do and, and maybe that's where you've been. You know? You were you were you were feeling down. Somebody, if you were in a couple relationship and you are watching this, I feel like it's time for a rebirth. Okay, it's time for a rebirth. Somebody could be giving birth. Okay, somebody could be giving birth. Um it's time to reconnect with somebody from your past. There is going to be a right reconnection with somebody from your past. Period. That's what I got for June. This person is... Um, is I feel like it's somebody that you are destined to be with. Seven of Wands reversed. Now, I feel like um, you may feel powerless. Like you can't fight it. You can't. You can't fight the feeling. You can't fight this feeling. You aren't going to be able to fight it. You are not going to be able to fight it. This is if you think about this. This mother and child. It's unconditional love. That's what you're going to feel. You have a major new beginning here. One phase of your life is over and a new one is beginning. Now, this person may be at a distance. There could be some travel. Um, there's, there's some sort of uh, moving into a new life. Somebody has learned a life lesson and now they're ready. A life lesson has caused somebody's evolution. 
you're completing a cycle and you are starting a new one. You are starting a new long-term project with somebody, a new phase. This is leaving something else behind, though. It is, because this is the end of one journey in the beginning of another. So it is. It's This is not who you think it is. You are going to reconnect with somebody that you knew in a past life. This is going to start a new phase. It's going to start a new life for you. It's time. That's what I see. I feel like there's there there's there's some sort of completion uh, or accomplishment. Okay, somebody has learned a a karmic lesson per se. Now they're ready. They're ready for their next relationship. They're ready for their next phase. Their next lesson. This is a you have a new partner, I believe, that is coming into your life. I think it's being at the right place at the right time. It's very unexpected, and it's just. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's 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 a surprise. <laughs> I feel like it's a surprise. I feel like uh you you may even feel like overwhelmed. You may feel overwhelmed with the feelings that are going, the feelings that happen so quick. This is a wake-up call. I feel like uh, there is someone from the other side that is guiding you, that is bringing the two of you together. And you're going to feel completely powerless to your feelings for this person. It's just so intense. I feel the intensity. I still feel like this person is an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like um, you won't be able, I can't fight this feeling. You won't be able to fight the feeling. Good luck.